Last winter, the James Webb Telescope, the Webb for short, a technological marvel went into orbit. Oh, Good, Anna, You're wonderful. And now we have some images from that telescope. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's fascinated by it, everyone's excited by it. Including my husband who interrupted me in the middle of something I was doing that I thought was much more important to show me the images. Oh. Um, so they're awe inspiring. Uh, but the bungled rollout of the images was fitting for the Biden administration. So there is an important element to this. Yeah. An interesting element to this. Other I think it's a very interesting element. Yeah, I'm no, go. everyone's like, oh my God, space, it's so interesting. And like, sure, <laughs> it is, but like, it's hard to be interested in what's going on in space when like, our country is a mess, our planet is about to shake us off because we've destroyed it for, human, for humans to live on it. Um, Good news, universe is big. No, but like I know, we all know, we all know, we all know. I know. Like we all know that it, there, there's all these galaxies and there's all this stuff no, no. going on outside of the planet. Yes, it's very likely there's life outside of Earth. Okay. I got, I got it. I got we're it. We're gonna get you to, we're gonna get you the images in a second. But first, Earth is a planet surrounded by space, big space. Okay. And then like the whole thing with like, ooh, there's gonna be another eclipse. There hasn't been an eclipse for 25 years or 100 years. There's an eclipse every year. Every year there's a story <laughs> about an eclipse. You know it, you okay, know it, okay. you know it, No, no. you all know it. Okay. You guys all love to get excited <laughs> about this it. stuff. It's <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So listen, we're gonna show you pictures, but I'm split on this. No. Half of me totally agrees with Anna, okay? The other half does not for reasons that I'm gonna explain. But when you said eclipse, two things two were fun. One is, I always remember Trump. Like, there's an eclipse, don't look at it without sunglasses on, you know, sunglasses on. But just don't look at it, right? Like, you're supposed to look around it, but don't look at the sun, right? And so Trump comes out into the balcony. We're First like, thing he does. We're like, you know he's gonna look at it, you know it. And he comes out and he's like, Looks <laughs> right at it, okay. <laughs> Anyways, but first, let me agree with Anna. Yeah, I don't get it, man. There's an eclipse like every other year, and people are always like, "This is the one. This happens once every year, 675 years." I'm like, no, dude, it happened in March. I'm positive it happened in March. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, that was like a purple eclipse, and this is I like know, a I know. orange, red, gray eclipse. I know, I know, I know. And, There's always okay. like some little difference that's like. Really, not that different to the naked eye. Yeah, and I've yeah. seen the eclipses, and I'm like, great, it's okay, it's, nice. it's okay, like it's slightly interesting. Cool. Oh yeah, look at that, the sky's covered. And I think, oh, like back in the day, you know, ancient people probably thought it was God doing something else or whatever. Like, okay, so, but it's back not in the day. that interesting, okay? But I think there is something interesting. So let's keep going. All right, so he, let's first talk about what went wrong with the rollout, yeah. okay, the Biden drum. So NASA was always planning to show the first images from the web um, on January 12th. So I'm sorry, July 12th, meaning today. But the Biden administration, desperate for any good news uh, to cover up all the bad stuff that's been happening in the country under his leadership, decided that they would actually steal some credit from NASA. Uh, mm. So so they ended up releasing some good images thinking. a day early. They showed one of the images early in a webcast, the webcast then started 70 minutes late. Biden later said he was planning for a trip to the Middle East with viewers subjected to repetitive hold music and no indication of when the event might start. Can you imagine sitting around for 70 minutes waiting for Biden to show up to show you these images? Like, you guys, let's wrap this thing up. Like it's gonna be all right, okay? Like you'll you're, see the images. I, I wouldn't like wait seconds later. I online. wouldn't wait seventy minutes to eat at a restaurant that I'm dying to eat at. I'd rather die. Like I'm not waiting for that. Like the idea to wait seventy minutes for these images. You're waiting for Biden for seventy minutes. Biden, I get it. Biden you guys love space. I get it. Don't do it though. Don't do it. You have better things to do. Let me continue. Do you see how passionately I feel about this? I do, I do. I'm not sure it's in a positive way, but okay, keep going. When the webcast <laughs> did start, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden gave speeches about the photo, how important science is, etc., without actually showing the photo. Oh, come on. <laughs> they didn't even show no, the photos. But you know what? It's the people who, who are waiting for it, it's their fault. No, it is their fault. It's their fault. I, I'm just gonna quick aside here. Go home. Uh, so um, I once got invited to a call with Nancy Pelosi. And I'm like, it ain't gonna be a call with Nancy Pelosi. And of course it wasn't. So it's what it was, was it was activists that they had invited, right? So I got put in the activist bucket and you weren't allowed to talk. 
it was Pelosi and a bunch of unbearable politicians droning on and doing these like smarmy like, and now the honorable representative Jim Jablowski, who's just the most amazing person. And then they come on, they're like, oh, Nancy Pelosi, oh yeah, I'm so honored to be on the same call. It was the most boring thing I have ever, ever heard in my entire life. They shared nothing of interest or importance. They just did a, a circle jerk of ass kissing at each other, okay? It was just the ugh. So that's what these calls are like. To sit yeah. through that and then you don't get the pictures at the end. Well, okay, so eventually they did show the image, but not in its entirety. Um, so here's what they finally did show. Let's go to this this next graph. Finally, we're showing you the image. Yeah, after uh, I a know, 70 I minute know, wait. I know, I know, I know. Right? I know. Sorry. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Here's another one. <laughs> at no point did they show the image in full, which Let's all calm down because it's not that different. <laughs> so, uh -huh. all right. So there it is. Okay. All right, there it is. So um, here is, uh, I guess, the image in full. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. So okay. So the if you see um, uh, the light with like points spikes on it, yes. so th that is those are stars, right? And then the um, <laughs> other lit up objects are galaxies. <laughs> And everyone's like, whoa, galaxies is real cool, bro. And it is, and it's cool, yes, galaxies exist. Yeah. Outside of the galaxy that we exist in. Okay. Lots of galaxies out there. So look, the Hubble was uh, now we get let's get to the relevant part. Okay, so if you're looking at that picture, you're like, oh when I first looked at the picture, I was like, okay, that's a picture of stars. I got it. It looks a little bit sharper than I guess I'm used to. And then I had to see a side by side, and I was like, oh wow, it's much sharper than the Hubble telescope. So Hubble telescope was launched in 1990. This thing is a hundred times more powerful. So it not only gets you much sharper images, but it what the Hubble telescope took weeks to get, this gets in about 12 hours. Okay? Amazing. So now the reason why I think this is relevant, and I thought it as I was reading the top of the story, and at the bottom of the story, that they, they, they confirmed it is possible, right? This thing is powerful enough that we might be able to spot life on the planets, okay? Like that. It's, it's possible. It's possible. I'm not saying that's it. I'm just saying it's possible. No, but seriously, now uh, the United States government has acknowledged yes, there are unidentified flying objects, and they do not act in any way that is possible on earth, okay? Even Barack Obama acknowledges it. So it's now out and open. There's almost no question that that they've been here, okay? And and it looks like different kinds of objects that you can't like one doesn't look like the other at all, right? And so, yes, I think uh, there's interesting things we could learn about the universe in existence. I just look, I so just, for example, hold on. Yeah. The the four the first 400 million years after uh, the Big Bang has not been seen yet because it takes light uh, a lot of time to travel. So if you can see to the beginning of time, well, now we're having a conversation. Okay, that is super interesting. Just looking at a bunch of dots and a picture is less interesting. Agreed. Right? Like, okay, that looks cool. By the way, they color it. Let's keep it real. Okay. Uh, and that's neat, and it gives you some sense of awe and wonder. But to me, the pictures are not that relevant, except when they show you things like the beginning of time or life potentially on a different planet. And it could be that life on a different planet is like water, and there's amoeba in the water, and that's not that exciting. It's important, but that's not surprising either at this point, right? But we could see a civilization. If we see another civilization on a different planet, that's kind of cool. So, okay, now we go to our uh, local curmudgeon, okay, to get, sprinkle some salt on this galactic uh, meal. No, go ahead. Look, I get that people are interested in this stuff. I'm not trying to, um, in any way, discourage them from being interested in this stuff. I just, I personally don't care as much, right? Mm -hmm. and it's not that I don't, no, I don't care. I'm not gonna pretend like <laughs> I do. I don't, I don't at all, like not even a little bit. Like, how is this? <laughs> I'm glad that this kind of exploration is happening, okay? I, I would not put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. I just have a difficult time getting excited about stuff that has absolutely no impact on my life at all. Yeah. Not yeah. even a little. In fact, the only thing I get from this, especially when you were talking, is oh, yeah, there's life outside this earth, and there is a possibility that they will make their way, whatever life form it is, to our planet. And I don't want that to happen. I'm not interested in that. 
Um, <laughs> I, I feel like our generation has had to live with all of these insane historic events all crammed together. All crammed together within like a few decades. Mm -hmm. All these crazy traumatic things that usually would happen in the time span of like a century or more. I don't need the aliens to show up. No, we, like, we can, you, can we just get a break? Let's get a break. I want a break. <laughs> right? So you, you get excited, like, ooh, life outside the planet. No, why? Why are we excited about this? <laughs> Maybe they know something we don't know. Maybe they could tell yeah, us. Yeah, murder. They'll murder us. No, they're not going to murder us. Oh, no, they're not going to murder yeah. us. Yeah, okay. I can, I can tell no, you later why. They will why. murder us. Like, that's <laughs> what they will do. <laughs> that's that's because that's our luck. You guys get that, right? Like, that's that our luck. <laughs> As a planet, that's our luck. Okay. Okay, no, guys, last things then. Let's see if this is interesting. Anna. Uh, so, first of all, why are they not going to murder us? Because, Come on, in, in, hold on, hold on, let me explain. In popular culture, this idea of the aliens land, they're going to eat us. We do not exist on their planet. There is a 0% chance that they evolved in a way where they would eat humans that don't exist on their planet. I'm not worried about okay. them eating us. Jake. So, they're not going to eat us. So, then, then uh, are they going to colonize us? Why? Our planet is likely very uninhabitable to them because it's a different planet. That's so, right. Then so, stay on your planet, bitch. Don't show up <laughs> over here, okay? No, they're probably <laughs> looking at us out of curiosity. Like, what are these little monkeys up to, okay? And so, and then finally, on, on, on the vastness of space, I'm with Anna on just looking at dots is not that interesting to me, or, and the eclipse is not. And sorry to everybody who finds that endlessly fascinating. Everybody's different. It's okay, different right? Different strokes for different folks. Exactly. But the vastness makes a difference because, guys, look at how my, we're literally microscopic. You know how we have microscopic beings inside of us, like cleaning out our stomach, on our skin, and so we never pay any attention to them, even though they're bacteria. actually literally on our bodies because they're microorganisms. Guess what? We're microorganisms. We, you, if the universe was a petri dish, we're so small you couldn't see us. So, uh, and so my point is, have fun. Nobody's watching. There is no cosmic accountant who thinks we're really important to the universe. We're not at all important to the universe. There's no judgment at all. You know what happens when you die? You die. Okay, life ends. So while you're here, do you, boo? Have fun. If you like eclipses, go watch the eclipses. If you hate the little dots on a pic on a picture, don't look at it. Okay, go have fun in your own way because we are microorganisms and completely irrelevant. By the way, one final thing. Um, let's go to that picture of the nebula again because I want to explain what we were looking at uh, because Taylor did do good work here. Okay, so that's a nebula. A nebula is a gla a gas cloud surrounding a dying star. Nebulae exist for tens of thousands of years, meaning that stars die in really slow motion. Yeah, so every star grows and then it uh, uh, and then it dies, and it dies very, very, very slowly. So, for example, the Earth is going, Sun is going to run into the Earth in seven billion years, but in one and a half billion years, the Earth will be so hot it'll be uninhabitable. So have fun. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Just go out and have the time of your life. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.